MTV World Stage представляет. The group began its career in 1991 in Helsinki under the name His Infernal Majesty, consisting of Bill Bolo, Mikko Lindström and Mikko Pohnanen. The first demo titled Witches and Other Night Fears appeared in 1992, currently the only copy is kept by the band leader. In 1994, Mikko Pohnanen was forced to leave the collective to do military service. A year later, the band's first reliably known recording appeared, a mini-album that became known as This Is Only The Beginning. This recording, especially the cover version of Chris Isaac's Wicked Game, attracted the attention of the music company Sony Bem. In 1996, Wallow, Linster M, Honanen and drummer Juan Rantel recorded a mini-album 666 Ways to Love, prologue with the help of producer Hailey Hylesma, after which the name His Infernal Majesty was shortened to him. Greatest Love Songs Ball, 666. The first full-length studio album Greatest Love Songs Ball. 666 was released on November 20, 1997. It was recorded by the unchanging trinity Volo Linster and Pohnanen, drummer Rentala and keyboardist Dan Tomalasieni. From this album, the band finally chose the style of melodic rock with lyrics about love and death. Greatest Love Songs Vol. 666 is the only an album that has hidden tracks. After the last, ninth composition, there is a series of tracks, from 10 to 66, that do not have a title and represent silence. Only 66 tracks contain music, an excerpt from the composition, The Heartless, from the mini-album 666 Ways to Love, Prolet. All songs must take up 666 megabytes of disk space. At one time, this was the reason for accusing the group of Satanism. Resort Blade Romance. Greatest Love Songs Vol. 666 became extremely successful in Europe, especially in the band's homeland, Finland. On December 19, 1999, the second album was released under the name Resort Blade Romance, tentatively, Cough and Roll. The keyboardist Molas Nemi was replaced by Yusimiko Salminen on it, and the drummer Johanu Rentala was replaced by Mika Karpinen, who plays in him to this day. With the release of Resort Blade Romance in the USA, it turned out that the name was already occupied by a post-rock band from Chicago and the Finnish band was forced to release an album under the authorship of her. The band soon bought the rights to the name and Resort Blade Romance was reissued. The current Lizer Air Cup is signed by Ferraro Flinters to collect this. The album reached. On August 27, 2001, the third album Deep Shadows and Brilliant Highlights was released, tentatively Ozymandias Garganum. On it, the keyboardist Salmanen was replaced by Jan Portinen and the current and lineup was finally formed. The new album became a noticeable step by the group towards the mainstream, which caused disapproval of some fans, but nevertheless Deep Shadows and Brilliant Highlights, like the previous album of the group, took first place in the Finnish charts, although it lasted only 11 weeks on it. After the release of Deep Shadows and Brilliant Highlights, Nicole Linster and created a solo project, Daniel Lyony, which released The King of Rock and Roll in September 2001. The second album Ball. I came out nine years later. When the King of Rock and Roll Mikko took his place at the microphone, without letting go of the guitar, Mikko Ponanen remained faithful to the bass guitar, and Bill Bolo took over the duties of drummer. The album, although it did not receive commercial recognition, gathered around itself a narrow circle of devoted fans. Love Metal, the fourth album Love Metal was released on April 14, 2003. The title of the album represents the band's self-proclaimed style of love metal. Starting with this album, Bill Bolo stopped appearing on the covers of the CDs, and instead of in, the golden cartogram was depicted on love metal. Video clips for the songs The Funeral of Hearts, The Sacrament, and Buried Alive by Love. The latter was filmed by Bam Margera's friend with the participation of guest actress Juliette Lewis, were successfully broadcast on American MTV, which greatly contributed to the growth of the band's popularity in the United States. The album was performed in full by him at the Download Festival in Donington. Where the band was one of the headlines, Love Metal reached on the finished charts and stayed there for 20 weeks. As a result of the four albums of the group, a collection of the best songs and love said no, the greatest hits 1997, 2004 was released, including two new compositions. After that, Pin's contract with Sony Bem came to an end and the band entered into a new agreement with the label Sire Records. Dark Light in the summer of 2005, the band attended Download Festival again, along with Black Sabbath and Velvet Revolver. 
On September 26 of the same year, the fifth album Dark Light was released, which became the first hymn record to hit the Billboard. Dark Light picked at number 18 on the Billboard 200, sparking a surge in interest in the band, bringing the previous album, Love Metal 2. One on the top peak Seekers chart along with Dark Light. In the Finnish chart, Dark Light, like its predecessor, took first place for 20 weeks. At the same time, Finnish musician Jussi Siren with his band The Groundbreakers dedicated to a May Bluegrass tribute album called Heart of Brass. After that, the band released two collections of special versions of songs An Easy Listening Vol. 1 and An Easy Listening Vol. 2, released in 2006 and 2007 respectively. Venus Doom. The album, titled Venus Doom, was released on September 14, 2007, peaking at 12 on the Billboard 200 and climbing to the top of the Hard Rock Albums chart. In Finland, on the other hand, the recording became noticeably less successful, reaching second place and only staying there for nine weeks. On Venus Doom guitars are brightly presented and keys are almost invisible. As a result of the tour in support of them, the first live album, in Digital Versatile Doom, was released, consisting mainly of old songs and only a few with Venus Doom. Screamworks, Love in Theory and Practice, Chapters 1-13. In June 2009, in a telephone conversation with a representative of Euro Rock Radio, the members talked about their plans to begin work on the band's seventh album in Los Angeles in August 2009. Screamworks, Love in Theory and Practice, Chapters 1 to 13, was recorded between August 3 and October 8 and was released on February 8, 2010. Preliminarily, on Bill's birthday on November 22, the cover of the future album was unveiled. Screamworks, Love in Theory and Practice, Chapters 1 to 13, peaked at 2 on the Finnish chart and stayed there for 12 weeks. During the tour in support of them, the band attended the Sonosphere Music Festival, along with Alice Cooper, Iggy Pop and the Stooges, Iron Maiden and The Cult. At the end of 2010, the remix album Serums was released, containing reworked songs from the album Screamworks, Love in Theory and Practice, Chapters 1 to 13. Tears on Tape. In 2011, the band left Sire Records. In February 2012, in an interview with Karen, Bill Volo said that the group has not yet decided on a new label, but said that the sound of the next album will be returned to the first works of him. On August 16, 2012, British music producer Tim Palmer announced that he was going to London for a new job with the Mighty Band. In, in November, the band released their second collection of the best songs of acts two decades of love metal, including the new track, Strange World. At the same time, the leader of the group in an exclusive interview spoke about the beginning of work on the recording of the eighth album, entitled Tears on Tape. It was released on April 26, 2013 in Finland, April 29th in the UK and Ireland, and on April 30th in the US and Canada. In 2015, drummer Gus, who has been permanent since 1999, left the band. Various critics and music publications attribute the band to styles, gothic rock, gothic metal, dark rock and melodic metal. The group's genre is described as a mixture of vintage glam, old-fashioned gothic and classic rock with a touch of modern music, but at the same time it is often referred to as gothic solely because of the image corresponding to the gothic fashion, although the sound of them is quite far from the classical understanding of this genre. The band is called a mix of AS glam and 70s guitar rock, representing a renaissance of stadium hard rock. Bill Vala himself, in order not to enter into controversy, came up with the definition of love metal for his style. The group's symbol is the heartogram. It was invented by the leader of the band Bill Vala on his 20th birthday. The heartogram is an inverted pentagram, the upper ends of which are rounded, as in the image of the heart. The musician interprets this sign as modern yin and yang, where the heart is yin and the inverted pentagram is yang. At the same time, Vala's heartogram symbolizes the unity of his band and love metal in general. The symbol is a trademark of him and has been used on the Resort Blade Romance, Love Metal, Dark Light, Screamworks and Cheers on Tape albums. The group leader also has several tattoos with this symbol.